What's up guys, John Luke here at the Dark Wolf Artisan Shop, home of the Road Widgets Review Studio, where we review the gear before you take it out on the road. Behind me we have a ambulance, one that we've been working on for quite some time. Typically we work on buses, but depending on what you're looking for, maybe an ambulance is better. Let's hop in and point out some features that set an ambulance apart from a bus. All right, well we all know how important space is when it comes to a tiny home. And finding a place for every little thing can be really difficult. And depending on the vehicle you choose is gonna allocate those different things to different places. In an ambulance, a lot of times it's a lot smaller than a full-size school bus. So in this particular build, first off the bat, finding places to put things was a little tricky. Um, but we got creative here and utilized the entryway for a shower. And we haven't seen this before, but as soon as you walk in the door, you're met with this tile and this shower head. Look at that, super cool. You have the shower nozzle here and you just turn it on and you can have either a raindrop, rain style shower or we also have this little handle installed to shower. Just a great creative way to find a place for everything in such a small space. Right at my feet, we have a metal pan that came stock with the ambulance. And uh, it's great, we just put in some weeping holes for the water to drain out. And uh, I just thought it was such an awesome way to utilize the space. Moving further back into the ambulance, you'll probably start asking some questions like, where the heck do you put stuff in such a small space compared to a large bus? And you're right, it is substantially smaller than a 40 foot bus. Well, the first hidden feature we have here in our kitchen area is our fridge. You might be wondering where that is. Any guesses? Is it over here? Is it under here? No, no, it's actually underneath our bed. Utilizing every inch of space in an ambulance is super important. When you get down to such a tight space, finding good spots for things can be kind of challenging, but it could also be kind of fun. So we decided to put the fridge on a rollout drawer underneath our queen size bed. And right here we have an ice co. Now the ice co is a 45 liter, 12 volt or 24 volt, depending on the electrical system you have in your house. The reason we decided to go with this is the build quality with ice co is just phenomenal. These things are durable. And if you're on the road, you know having durable gear is really important. We absolutely love these. Just the versatility between the 12 volt and the 24 volt, that's a huge deal breaker for us because depending on the client we're working with, and the electrical system going in said bus or ambulance or tiny home. Um, they may go with a 24 volt. We just, we need that versatility and ice coat knocks it out of the park with that. This thing has plenty of room. It's got locking latches, it's DC, everything you could love about it. I'm also a big fan of this setup and the placement because we have our sink right here and you're probably wondering where do you cook and prep food? Well, directly behind me, we have this countertop space with an outlet that's gonna come. We're still in the middle of this build. It's not finished, but once it is finished, we'll have a outlet right here where we'll plug in an induction cooktop and I can prep and cook right here. You know, once I'm done cooking, I've eaten all my food, move on into my kitchen. The particular sink we put in our kitchen was definitely intentional, it was planned and that Biggest plan was to have a deep sink and not lose counter space. So going with this one, we are given that extra counter space, which if you live in a tiny home, you know how valuable that is. The other thing I love is just how deep it is. So whenever you're about to hit the road and you need to shuffle and grab all the things that could go loose and shove them in your sink, you can put them in there, it's deep enough, and you can hide it away. Moving on to the faucet we have here was also quite intentional. We love this style faucet mainly because of the versatility. You have your standard, you know, set faucet, but then you can just pull down and you can spray off all of that nasty food that you did not finish because you didn't want to eat your peas like your mom told you to. Should have listened. Big fan of those. We put them in all of our rigs. It's pretty much standardized at this point with the builds here. And that pretty much sums up the kitchen. We have all this counter space and we have all this cabinetry for storage. But continuing on, Directly behind me, we have this counter space that I was mentioning before where we use to plug in our induction cooktop and we cook and prep here, but also below we have all of these drawers. Storage is, can't say it enough, is super important. And uh, this is designed primarily for clothing, to fold your clothes up and keep in here. Above that we also have more storage for 
even more clothing. You're probably also wondering, you know, you have a shower, you have a kitchen, that's great and all, but where the heck do you go to the bathroom? Also intentionally hidden. You know, the shower is one thing, you can have that out in the open, but you don't really wanna have your pooper out in public. So we built that into the design of our queen size bed here. And hidden underneath our queen size bed, you just open this door and we have our all time favorite composting toilet, the nature's head on a pull out. Look at that. Now I can't even get started with how much we love these units here. We use them in all our rigs. Absolutely love the nature's head composting toilet. The ventilation system they have designed is by far one of the best. You can vent it out of your rig, underneath your rig to keep that compost dry. And when you're done, you can push it back in, shut the door, bathroom's missing. Moving on to the queen size bed, we have the traditional slats and that is intentional as well. Um, we want to allow airflow up into the mattress to avoid moisture buildup, which can lead to mold. If you've been on the road for any period of time without one, then you already know mold, condensation from heaters, propane heaters, whatever have you, could build up in rigs and having proper ventilation for your mattress is important. We have slats in this rig. There's other options out there, but we're a big fan of the slat system. Above the bed, we have more storage. Again, you can put clothing up in here. Um, for me, I work from bed a lot of times because I'm lazy and I like to keep my computer gear, my camera gear, hard drives and such above the bed. So we put, we made sure to put that on both sides. So depending on your needs, there's plenty of storage for, for your stuff in here, which is always great when you have a tiny space. Underneath the bed, we have in addition to the toilet and fridge, we also have storage and that's intended for hiking gear, whether it's fly fishing, hiking, biking, mountain biking, whatever it is, you're able to put that underneath the bed from the rear. On this side of the rig, we have our desk area and having a place to sit and read and write and do work that's not in a bed, as much as I hate to say it, is super important. And finding a place to keep stools while maintaining storage was huge as well. So. We designed this to where the bench would pull out on really, really strong drawer slides and not only give you seating, but also more storage. Along with the storage above to keep, you know, if you, if you don't want to keep your office supplies in the bedroom, you can keep them right here. And my favorite, favorite feature about an ambulance that separates from a school bus is the option to shut off the front cab area. We have this little door here that separates the two spaces which is just completely phenomenal. In some rigs, you have to get out and go around to enter into the actual living space of the rig, but this little door allows you to open and close and access the back. Another really important feature with having this door here is if you live in a van or bus or any tiny home that's mobile, you know how hot the windshield can get. This kind of puts a thermal barrier between the windshield and the rest of the rig, keeping the rest of the rig really cool, keeping that heat up front. Up here we have some great more, it's like much of a bookshelf. It's a really cool feature. It's just all around just a great option. If you're looking for something versatile and want something a little smaller than a bus, ambulances are great options. The, the skeleton of this rig is just incredible. A lot of times they come with a full aluminum construction inside. Very durable, you know, they were built as emergency vehicles so a lot of times they have good maintenance records and I can't suggest it enough if you wanted to look for an option that wasn't a bus. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you drew any inspiration for your ambulance, let us know in the comments below. There's so many different ways to configure the space and it's just so different from a 40 foot school bus. What a great option ambulances are. We have so much fun trying to figure out how to fit all the things into all the different places. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below. Hit subscribe, follow us along, and until next time. I'll see you down the road.